What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, I have finally dropped a jump training video. I knew you guys have been requesting it a ton lately. I've been mainly just posting dunk sessions and pick up basketball videos. Uh, partly because I've just been doing, honestly, the same type of training for a while. And I don't want to be boring you guys with just the same lifting videos over and over again. But this week is a very special week. And if you're a THP athlete, you know why this is special. This week is deload week. Deload week is when I basically back off of training. I max out my lifts, see how strong I am. And I get to test my vert and have a big dunk session at the end of the week, uh, enjoying the benefits of the deload week, with it, which is jumping higher and increased strength. So it is my favorite week of the year. It happens every few months for me, every like two or three months. Um, so yeah, it should be a really exciting video. Um, this was the first time I've maxed deadlifts out since March. Front squat, I haven't maxed it out since uh, 2020. So it's been about almost two years, I believe. Um, here I am starting with a warm up. Um, I think last time I uploaded a lifting video was three months ago. Since that time, I've made a lot of strength gains. Um, I was also sick uh, for a big portion of those three months. Uh, and I decided to keep training uh, through my sickness. And guys, it has been very tough getting myself to go to the gym. But like I always say, it's not about motivation when it comes to this training thing. It is about discipline. Discipline is what's going to keep you consistent through the bad days, when you're sick, when you don't feel like going to the gym. Just show up, guys. That's the most important part. Uh, so I did my barbell warm up. Uh, before the barbell warm up, I had done isometrics, which I didn't show in the video because that is quite boring. But never skip your isos. I do them every single day. After the isos and the barbell warm up, I got straight into my warm up sets for the deadlift. The way I like to warm up when I'm maxing out, uh, and I got this from the book Starting Strength, which I read like back in high school. Um, you don't have to do this exact method. Do what works best for you and what has you feeling uh, the best. Uh, but ideally, you want to do something that's not going to fatigue you too too much so that you can be at your maximum strength when you go to max out. But I like to go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I started at 135 uh, for my 5 rep, 225 for my 4th rep, and so on and so forth. To you, you can start doing singles all the way up to 405. Uh, so right here with 365, I started doing singles. And then I found this nifty little machine that helps me put weight on the bar. Um, but here on this next rep is I finally get to my max out weight PR. It is 460 on the bar. And I'll let you guys listen. You can see my new PR 460 moved so fast. And from here, I decided to jump up to 475, which is a 20 pound PR from the last time I maxed out, which was uh, two months ago, I believe. And I got the 475. I was so happy with this lift. Uh, technique didn't break down, kept my back flat the whole time. And that's something that's really, really important when you're maxing out uh, is to try your best to keep good technique. Um, as soon as you start noticing that your form's breaking down, um, I suggest cutting it. I probably could have squeezed out a little bit more weight, but decided to cut it there. Um, I felt like if I went heavier, my form would start breaking down. But 475, I'm so hyped with that. Um, my deadlift has been increasing so much this past year, and it's one of the reasons my back actually has been feeling amazing. Um, if you guys watch my, my videos from like two years ago, I used to have really, really bad back pain. And something that was really uh, key to helping with my back pain was just building my deadlift up. I started with just the bar and just increased by like 10, 20 pounds each week really focusing on perfect perfect technique um and man it's made such a huge difference my long-term goal for the deadlift is to deadlift over 500 pounds uh which i'm hoping being optimistic that i can get that by the end of the year um but next is front squat now last time i maxed my front squat was july 2020 and i got 345 um this past year my focus has mainly been on back squatting 
So my front squat was a little bit weak all year, but this last month of this max strength cycle, I've been really hammering the front squats. And let's see what I can do. Just did 325 right here. And my first attempt for the PR is 350. Let's see if I can get it. Got the 350, that's a five pound PR. From here, I decided to go up to 365, uh, which was very scary. I was scared to do this rep. Uh, but yeah, the 350 moved easy, so see if I can go for that 365 and hopefully get another PR for the day. All right, guys, that is it for the video. Two new PRs, 365 on the front squat, 475 on the deadlift. Next video, I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, hopefully a new power clean PR, and then I'm gonna try to match my previous back squat PR, uh, which I'm gonna do all that in two days. Uh, for now, I just gotta rest up, recover, and get ready for that lift. Also, this is really cool, but I came out with a new shirt. This is the dunk when I jumped over Blake Griffin and win my first overseas dunk contest ever in k54 um really dope shirt look at that if you want to check it out uh the link is in the description also a reminder if you want me to personally coach you to jump higher get rid of knee pain get stronger faster reach all your athletic goals go to thpstrength.com that's it for the video guys like comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out